This will be our fifth escape pod. Um, we've been developing them since last year. Tried one last year as a little bit of an experiment. And uh, they've been exceptionally popular. Kids love them. They love the bunk beds. It's, a, it's just something, again, quirky, distinctive. Um, they look like they belong here, really, don't they? They're... It's like an upturned boat sort of look, kind of. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, well, that's the, the inspiration kind of came from, from boat builder technology, so it is, it is very much a, an upturned boat. It's all, it's all sustainable timber. We've, we've built it here on the premises. We've designed them here. We insulate them to within an inch of their lives, double glaze them, LED lighting, so they're ever so, ever so cheap to, to, to run during the winter. But they've got power and stuff in them. They've got a, yeah, they've got a plug socket. You can charge your phone up, um, lights, TV. Yeah, they're, 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 they're a great tent substitute. It's just like camping, but you don't have to put the tent up, and more importantly, you don't have to put it down again at the end of the holiday. OK, so, so one of the last couple coming in here, I know, though, now you've only got one choice, that's to bring it up this uh, this way, I think. So yeah, yeah, that's it. What, what, that's, it's quite a long process now, then. It comes out from... We, we, we take it out of, the, out of the boat shed, which will happen in a, in a short while. Um, we, we pick it up uh, with a hook on the top, and we bring it up our driveway and then down this narrow lane behind here where uh, caravans come down as well. And so it'll come through at the back of the swimming pool here and uh, finally we'll drop it into place. Okay, well it's quite straightforward. We've got a, got a bar mechanism that we use, set up a, a lifting system for it so we can just lift it up quite easily with the man or two with our machine and, and, and bring her along the road um, and then lower her down. And pretty satisfactory as well, just three of you and down it goes. Yeah, half an hour and uh, and she's there uh, ready, all set up, all wired up, just plugging her in. I want ready to go. How much work goes into actually building the, uh, the pods? Uh, it's, um, it's about, give or take a few hours, it's about three weeks work um, for one guy. We've got a bit of a problem though, a, a, a car in the way. Well, we're going to have to look around, see if we can find the, find the driver. There's uh, kind of not a lot we can do really, and we can't obviously go over it. Um, we're going to have to wait, see if we can find the driver. Uh, there is just enough space to get past it, but I'm guessing that's not something you want to risk. Yeah, not really. It's not, not, you know, if it was my car, fair enough, but it's not my Jag, so no, I don't want to risk that. Uh, and if we can't get it moved? Uh, well, we will just have to wait. Uh, we can put the pod down quite easily on, on some blocks, uh, take the man or two away, come back tomorrow if that's the case. Not a problem for us. Well, of course, you can slide the man or two underneath the jag, couldn't you? Uh, we could, yeah. <laughs> they tend to do that with customers' cars. Steve, I, I do believe that we, we've actually got the driver coming back, so thanks very much for that. OK, Cheers. no worries. James installed after a little bit of drama. It's all in one piece. Um, I'm happy. I think they've, uh, they've got the hang of doing these now after after five or six. And uh, yeah, yeah, happy. First customers this afternoon. I think they'll be happy too. Is everyone exactly the same or, or has it sort of evolved as you moved on? Well, they, they look the same to the customers. They're the same spec, but as we've, as we've developed them, we found better ways of doing things. Um, better ways of improving the, the rigidity of it so that when we're building them for, for other parks they're, they're easier to, to lift and to move about. Can you, uh, there's not a lot to show us, but can you give us a <laughs> Yeah, please, stay on um, One of the innovations with our pods is that it's, it's a three-dimensional pod. It's not all about the floor plan. We've managed to, with a little bit of extra height, we've managed to, to get a, a double bunk in here. So, so this means you're not restricted to a bed that you have to take out and put away again. You've got your, your double bunk here, full size, two single bunks. And uh, yeah, LED lights, little TV, and uh, lovely and cosy, any time of year. Costs nothing to heat. They're, they're a great alternative to camping.